He was the Rifleman from 1958's Western drama series. I see you have your famous rifle with you. Oh, yeah, I carry it for identity, Steve. Kind of a trademark of my show. A widowed rancher and sharpshooter who lives with his son, Mark, in the fictional town of North Fork, New Mexico, during the late 19th century. The character is known for his distinctive Winchester Model 1892 rifle, which he carries on his back in a customized leather rifle sleeve. A loving and caring father who imparts valuable life lessons to his son, Mark, teaching him the importance of honesty, courage, and compassion. The Rifleman ran from 1958 to 1963 and remains one of Chuck Connors' most iconic roles, solidifying his status as a television legend. The character of Lucas McCain is remembered for his unwavering sense of justice, his memorable catchphrase, I don't want any trouble, and his iconic rifle skills, which he uses to maintain peace and order in the Wild West setting of the series. But... Did you know that behind the towering figure of Chuck Connors, known for his iconic roles in television and film, lies a personal journey marked by struggles and triumphs? Connors' early life was shaped by immigrant roots and love for sports. Excelling in athletics, he ventured into professional baseball before his path diverged towards acting, ultimately leading him to become a celebrated figure in Hollywood. Yet amidst the glitz and glamour, Connors harbored a secret struggle with insecurity and loneliness, a facet of his humanity often hidden behind his charismatic facade. Join us as we delve into the multifaceted life of Chuck Connors, exploring his career, personal relationships, and enduring legacy that transcends the silver screen. Connors, born on April 10, 1921, in Brooklyn, New York City, was the older of two children to Marcella and Alban Francis Allen Connors, immigrants from Newfoundland and Labrador with Irish roots. His sister, Gloria, was two years younger. His father became a U.S. citizen in 1914 and worked as a longshoreman in Brooklyn by 1930, while his mother gained citizenship in 1917. Raised Catholic, Connors served as an altar boy at the Basilica of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Despite the Brooklyn Dodgers' struggles in the 1930s, he remained a staunch fan and dreamt of playing for them. Having demonstrated exceptional athletic prowess, he earned a scholarship to Adelphi Academy, where he dedicated himself to sports and academics, ultimately graduating in 1939 with distinction. Following his remarkable achievements, he found himself inundated with numerous offers for athletic scholarships from esteemed colleges and universities across the nation. After much deliberation, he made the decision to enroll at Seton Hall University, located in the picturesque town of South Orange, New Jersey. Throughout his tenure at Seton Hall, he not only showcased his talent on the basketball court, but also on the baseball diamond, where he became known by the affectionate moniker Chuck, amongst his teammates and fans alike. However, after two successful years at Seton Hall, he felt a pull towards pursuing a career in professional baseball, thereby embarking on a journey into the minor leagues. His aspirations were momentarily deferred with the outbreak of World War II, compelling him to answer the call of duty and serve his country. During his military service, he was stationed at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, where he assumed the role of a tank warfare instructor, imparting his knowledge and expertise to fellow soldiers. Subsequently, he was reassigned to West Point, New York, where he continued to contribute his skills towards the war effort, leaving an indelible mark on all those he encountered. Connor's path to acting began in 1952, when he played with the Los Angeles Angels, a farm team of the Dodgers. During this time, he was discovered by a director and landed a small role in the film Pat and Mike alongside Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn. This marked the beginning of his successful acting career. His imposing physique and natural charm quickly drew attention from both audiences and producers. However, it was his role as Lucas McCain in the television series The Rifleman in 1958 that truly cemented his place in television history. Playing the role of a sharpshooting widower and dedicated father, 
Connors received widespread acclaim for his portrayal of the stoic yet compassionate McCain. His chemistry with Johnny Crawford, who played his son Mark, resonated deeply with viewers, contributing to the show's immense success as a beloved classic of the Western genre. After the conclusion of The Rifleman, Connors continued to work steadily in both film and television, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He starred in various westerns such as Geronimo, 1962, and Cowboy in Africa, 1967-1968, as well as ventured into other genres with projects like Soylent Green, 1973, and Airplane 2, the sequel, 1982. Throughout his career, Connors was known for his professionalism, dedication, and genuine love for his craft, earning him respect and admiration from peers and fans alike. Secret and Struggles of Chuck Connors While Connors' professional achievements were widely celebrated, few were aware of the personal struggle he harbored throughout his life. Behind closed doors, Connors grappled with a deep sense of insecurity and loneliness, stemming from a childhood scarred by poverty and the absence of his father. Despite his outward confidence, he battled with feelings of inadequacy and a fear of never truly belonging. This inner turmoil often manifested in his relationships, both romantic and platonic. Connors struggled to maintain meaningful connections, often keeping people at arm's length to avoid revealing his vulnerabilities. Despite his magnetic charm, he was haunted by the fear of being exposed as an imposter, someone who didn't deserve the success and adoration he received. Throughout his life, Connors worked tirelessly to keep his secret hidden, burying his insecurities beneath layers of charm and bravado. Yet, despite his efforts, his inner struggles occasionally surfaced, offering glimpses of the man behind the mask. In the twilight of his career, Connors began to confront his demons, seeking solace in therapy and introspection. He came to realize that his insecurities were not weaknesses to be hidden, but facets of his humanity to be embraced. In the end, Chuck Connors' secret was not one of scandal or intrigue, but of profound humanity. Behind the larger-than-life persona was a man grappling with the same fears and doubts as anyone else, and it was in embracing those vulnerabilities that Connors found his greatest strength, leaving behind a legacy that extended far beyond the roles he played on screen. Personal Life Chuck Connors experienced three marriages throughout his life, each with its own unique story. His first marriage was to Elizabeth Riddell in 1948, resulting in the birth of four sons, Michael, Jeffrey, Stephen, and Kevin. Unfortunately, their relationship ended in divorce in 1961. In 1963, Connors married Kamala Devi, an immigrant from India. Their marriage endured until her passing in 2009. Notably, during their time together, Connors chose to adopt Kamala's daughter, Petunia, further solidifying their family bond. His third and final marriage took place in 1977, when he wed Faith Quabius. Their union lasted until Connors' death in 1992. Chuck Connors' personal life was filled with both triumphs and tribulations, akin to the diverse roles he portrayed on screen. Despite the challenges, he left behind a lasting legacy not only as a talented actor, but also as a devoted husband and father, with his familial relationships reflecting the complexity and depth of his character both on and off the screen. Legacy and Influence Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Connors wielded his influence in the realm of politics, aligning himself staunchly with the Republican Party. His political activism wasn't confined to rhetoric, he forged enduring relationships with key political figures, including the likes of Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan. Through these associations, Connors not only amplified his political voice, but also leveraged his platform to advocate for causes close to his heart, thereby cementing his legacy as a socially conscious celebrity.
Moreover, Connor's towering stature and rugged demeanor lent him an aura of iconicity that transcended the confines of the silver screen. His on-screen personas often mirrored his real-life persona, portraying characters imbued with a sense of strength, resilience, and unwavering resolve. Off-screen, Connor's persona continued to captivate audiences, embodying a quintessential image of masculinity and fortitude. In essence, Chuck Connor's impact reverberated far beyond the entertainment industry, leaving an enduring legacy characterized by his philanthropy, political activism, and iconic presence both on and off the screen. He epitomized the quintessential blend of talent, charisma, and social consciousness, leaving an indelible imprint on the collective psyche of society. Charity Work one of Connor's significant contributions was his involvement with children's charities. He understood the importance of nurturing and supporting the younger generation, and he actively participated in various initiatives aimed at improving the lives of disadvantaged children. Whether through fundraising events, personal donations, or hands-on involvement, Connor's made it his mission to make a positive impact on the lives of those in need. Moreover, Connor's was a staunch advocate for animal welfare. He believed in the importance of treating all living beings with compassion and respect. Throughout his career, he supported various animal rights organizations and shelters, championing causes such as adoption, spaying, and neutering programs, and the prevention of animal cruelty. Connor's philanthropic efforts extended beyond mere monetary donations. He actively participated in charitable events, visited hospitals and shelters, and used his platform to raise awareness about important social issues. Whether through his celebrity status or his genuine compassion for others, Connors left a lasting legacy of kindness and generosity. In essence, Chuck Connors' charity work exemplified his commitment to making the world a better place. His dedication to children, veterans, and animals endeared him to many and his impact continues to be felt long after his passing. Through his acts of kindness and generosity, Connors inspired others to follow in his footsteps and make a difference in the lives of those less fortunate. Death of Chuck Connor On November 10, 1992, at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, Chuck Connors passed away at the age of 71 due to complications from lung cancer. Despite his passing, Chuck Connors' legacy lives on through his body of work. He remains an iconic figure in the world of television and film, remembered fondly by fans for his contributions to the entertainment industry. This was the life of legend Chuck Connor. He will be the unforgettable for us. Thanks for watching.